You see that highlighted map in between? This is where Mesopotamia was designated. More That's between two rivers. And all the way up on the very top of that shoe, horseshoe, let's say, okay? The horseshoe on the top, the north part, is where Armenian highland is. I think that we have a zoomed area. version of this, right? There's yeah, a, yeah, if yeah, maybe the second yeah, there one. We are, yeah, there, there we you go. go. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's what basically Armenian highland was. The areas was named by its geographical mm -hmm. area. Boundaries and maps came later. And where those two rivers started flowing and every place between those two rivers became fertile. Hence that area was called Fertile Crescent. Fertile Crescent, yeah. That's where the begin the, our civilization's first life started beginning there. Plants, uh, insects, birds, uh, everything. The life yeah. started there. So the second one is Indus Valley, which is about 2,000 to 25 a uh, hundred years later. So this is the earliest civilization that we know. And at one time, the, we were like any other people, hunters and gatherers, yeah. until we started domesticating those animals. Once we domesticated about 11,000 years ago, the first domestication was uh, goats and sheep. Mm -hmm. Just to show some people on the screen um, who are joining us live on YouTube and Facebook, this is the area yeah, we're talking about. Yeah, that's the area we're talking yeah. about, and that's the Fertile Crescent. And as you see, the first animals that were domesticated in our civilization was uh, the lamb, the sheep, and goat. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, no wonder that the first domesticated animal, the sheep, um, is called Ovis Gmelini, Gmelini Armeniaca. That's the uh, name says it's, it all. Yeah, uh, it's, I mean, it's right so there. <laughs> once those animals were domesticated and we started having the agrarian society where people didn't have to move, migrate with the animals, they became settlements. Yeah. They settled there, they started having their own herds. They didn't have to move. From there on, if we go back to the second uh, uh, clip where uh, Ambassador Michael Furler Fur uh, states that whoever bakes or eats bread, makes or drinks wine, uses metal or jewelry, or wears clothing and shoes, is tied by invisible bonds of cultural inheritance to Armenia. This is, uh, this is well said. It's right to the point. Yep. Now, from there on, if we look for the past 30 years since the independence of Armenia, the archaeological findings that we're having. Mm -hmm. The 10 most ancient things were found in Armenian Highland. Let's, uh, I'm going to call it Armenian Highlands uh, because recently, I mean, you, you talk about uh, Bordasar, which mm -hmm. is, Turks call it Göbekli Tepe, yeah. which is the translation. I call it Armenian Highlands. 